Hello everyone, welcome to Mid Sparkles. We are starting a series of lectures on pathology from introduction to the basic concepts of pathology, including etology, morphology, and pathogenesis. What is pathology? Pathology is a Greek word. Pathos means disease or suffering. Logi means study. So, pathology is the study and diagnosis of diseases. Pathology can be defined as Pathology is a branch of medical science primarily concerning the cause, origin, and nature of disease. So, simply we can say that Pathology deals with the cause, origin, and nature of disease. In pathology, we are studying about different diseases. It's a bridge between science and medicine. It explains every aspect of patient care from diagnosis, testing, and treatment to genetic technologies and preventing diseases. Doctors and scientists working in pathology are experts in illness and disease. Currently, pathology is divided into eight main areas. Journal Pathology In general pathology, we are studying about the mechanism behind the cell and tissue injury, as well as understanding how the body responds to and repairs injury. Anatomical Pathology Anatomical pathology is concerned with the study and diagnosis of illness through microscopic analysis. Samples are taken from the body fluid, tissue, organ, and sometimes from the entire body for analysis. Anatomical pathology is further subdivided into several disciplines. Histology It is also known as microscopic anatomy. Histology is the microscopic study of biological tissue in order to detect and diagnose disease. Cytology. Bodily fluids and tissues are examined at cellular level to screen for and diagnose disease. Forensic pathology. Forensic pathology is the examination of an autopsy in order to discover the cause of death. Clinical pathology. Clinical pathology is also known as laboratory medicine. It is concerned the analysis of blood, urine, and tissue samples to examine and diagnose disease. Chemical pathology or biochemistry. Chemical pathology is the study of chemical and biochemical mechanism of the body in relation to disease, mostly through analysis of the body fluid such as blood or urine. Genetics. There are three main branches of genetics which includes cytogenetic, biochemical genetics, and molecular genetics. Cytogenetics This is the analysis of chromosomal abnormalities at the microscopic level. Biochemical genetics The search for specific disease markers using biochemical techniques. Molecular genetics Genes mutations are searched and analyzed using DNA technology. Hematology. Hematology is concerned with the study of the cause, prognosis, treatment, and prevention of the disease related to blood. Immunology. Immunology is referred to as autoimmune disease. Immunology deals with the immune responses associated with disease. Microbiology. Microbiology is concerned with the disease caused by pathogenic agents such as bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi. For more informative videos, keep watching our channel. We'll upload more lectures on different diseases. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and subscribe us on YouTube. For more information, visit our website www.mitsparkles.blogspot.com.
For more interesting videos, stay tuned with us. Thank you.